Guys, imagine that you're walking on a road. Then you see a person who is searching deliberately about something. And you go near him and ask, what are you searching for? He says that I lost a key, so I'm searching it under the street light, okay? So you, because of your kindness, you started to help him out. You can't find it even after uh, searching for 10 minutes or 20 minutes or half an hour. Then you ask the person, where did you lost the key? He says that I lost it in my home. Isn't it weird? He lost something in his home. He's searching for something outside the home. Even though it sounds so absurd, that is how we behave sometimes. We always look for something outside rather than inside. Yo, I'm BNS. I interview world-class experts on health and mindset and I have read hundreds of books so that I can help as many people as possible while having fun. Many of us think that if someone or something could change outside of us, everything would be awesome. But in reality, that will change nothing. This reminds me of an Indian Buddhist monk called Shantideva and he has a book called The Way of Bodhisattvas where he talked about this very clearly and you will understand it very easily. So imagine that you don't want to walk on glass or boiling sand or uh, thorns or something, right? Then you try to purchase as much leather as you can so that you can fill the entire world with leather. Would there be enough leather to cover the entire earth? Of course not, right? So instead of that, we can do something else. That is, if you just wrap some piece of leather on your feet in form of sandals or shoes, then you can walk on the glass, then you can walk on the boiling sand, then you can walk on the thorns without getting any damage. So this story also says the same. Look at you before you point fingers at others. See, I'm talking about the fingers, right? Even fingers can teach us something. See, once you point something at others, three other fingers will point at you, okay? So it's better to look at ourselves first rather than to thinking to change others. I will give you another example so that I can drive the point home. So the book name is called Awareness and the author mentioned very succinctly on how absurd it will look. Imagine a patient who goes to a doctor and tells all about his problems and symptoms. Then the doctor says, well, I understood your symptoms and problems. Do you know what I will do now? Uh, I will write the prescription for your neighbor. Then the patient will say, yeah, thank you so much. That really helps me. Isn't it absurd? Of course it is, but that's what we all do. The person who is asleep will always think that he will feel better if someone else changes. You're suffering because you're asleep, but you're thinking how wonderful it will be if someone else changes or if your wife changes or if your situation changes, but they fail to recognize that they need to be changing. Well, I will give you one more example so that we can really understand the concept. Imagine that you are in a movie theater. The entire room is dark and the movie is about to play. And you can see the movie is getting brightened and the movie will start to play. But suddenly you see on the screen that there is a big dot weird shaped thing that's uh, there on the screen and it's blocking to see the movie and you get out of your discomfort and you just jump out of this chair and go towards the screen and see that there's something there and try to rub that thing out of the screen you try to rub 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 until you almost tear it but no amount of rubbing can solve that because the projector has a lint on it unless you clean the lint that's there on top of the projector nothing that you do on the screen will change the same thing applies to our way of life unless you change internally external things will not be changed even if it seems that something is changing externally something will happen in future that will repeat this again and again until you learn the lesson it reminds me of byron katie's wisdom in loving what is she says as you inquire into issues and turn judgments around you come to see that every perceived problem appearing out there is really nothing more than a misperception within your own thinking guys finally i want to say something if you change the way you look at things the things you look at change. So thank you so much guys for watching. You guys are awesome tackler and yo. You want to say subscribe? <laughs> yeah, thank you.